dear Clarice. I have followed with enthusiasm the course of your disgrace and public shaming. My own never bothered me except for the inconvenience of being incarcerated, but you may lack perspective. In our discussions down in the dungeon, it was apparent to me that your father, the dead night watchman, figures largely in your value system. I think your success in putting an end to James Gum's career as a couturier pleased you most because you could imagine your father being pleased. But now, alas, you're in bad odor with the FBI. Do you imagine your daddy being shamed by your disgrace? Do you see him in his plain pine box crushed by your failure, the sorry petty end of a promising career? What is worst about this humiliation, Clarice? Is it how your failure will reflect on your mommy and daddy? Is your worst fear that people will now and forever believe they were indeed just good old trailer camp tornado bait white trash and that perhaps you are too? Hmm? By the way, I couldn't help noticing on the FBI's rather dull public website that I have been hoisted from the Bureau's archives of the common criminal and elevated to the more prestigious 10 most wanted list. Is this coincidence, or are you back on the case? If so, goody goody, because I need some action, Clarice. I need to come out of retirement and return to public life. I imagine you sitting in a dark basement room, bent over papers and computer screens. Is that accurate? Please tell me, truly. Special Agent Starling. Regards your old pal, Hannibal Lecter, M.D. P.S. So sorry to hear of Jack Crawford's illness and his demise. I considered wiring a nice spray of crimson roses and condolence, but knew they would more likely arrive as canary daffodils. I did observe a moment, and not a moment more, I assure you, of silence for poor old Jack. Going. Any leads? Yeah, they're all leads. You just don't lead to him. 